In this tech snip, I'll show you how to secure commands in Poshbot. Let's get started. Poshbot includes a simple yet effective role-based access control system, so you can control who can execute certain commands. To start, let's take a look at this demo plugin that I've already created. Poshbot has already been configured to load plugins from this plugins directory. To learn how to do that, check out the How to Create a Simple Poshbot Plugin snip. This function called Deploy Application is what we want to secure. Not everyone who can interact with Poshbot should be able to run this command, so we need to attach some permissions to it. Poshbot includes a custom attribute called Poshbot.BotCommand. This attribute is similar to commandment binding, and you can apply it to functions to modify their behavior when executed from the bot. Let's add this custom attribute above commandment binding. The permissions property is telling Poshbot that only users who have the deploy app permission are allowed to execute this command. You can add more than one permission here as well. That's all we need to do to our function to apply the permission. The next thing we need to do is modify our module manifest to include this permission. We'll add a permissions key underneath the private data hash table. We'll have an entry in here for each permission used in the module. Because we're using a custom attribute to decorate commands with permissions, we need to declare a dependency on the Poshbot module as well, as the attribute is provided by Poshbot. Now let's modify the required modules property and declare that Poshbot is a required module. And that's it for modifying our module. Now let's start up Poshbot and register it as a plugin. I've already configured Poshbot to run as a service. You can check out the How to Run Poshbot as a Windows Service snip for more information. Okay, now that Poshbot is started, let's head over to Slack. Inside Slack, we need to install the plugin. To do that, we'll run the install plugin command. Now let's run help against our command to verify Poshbot registered the permission. And we can see that the permission deploy app is required to run this command. Let's verify that by trying to run it. And it comes back saying we're unauthorized because we don't have the required permission. To grant this permission, we need to go through a few more steps. Poshbot's RBAC system uses permissions, roles, and groups to control access to commands. Commands have permissions attached to them, and permissions are added to a role, and roles are added to a group along with one or more users. By adding people to a group, they can run any commands that have permissions added to any roles in the group. You'll need to be a bot admin or have the permission called Manage Permissions to work with groups, roles, and permissions. Now let's create a role and add our permission to it. We'll use the built-in command new role and add role permission for this. We'll call our role deployer. Now that the role is created, we need to create a group called release team and add the role to it. We'll use the new group and add group role commands for that. And finally, we'll add our user ID to the group with the add group user command. Now let's try running the deploy application command again. And you can see we're allowed to run the command. And that's how you can secure commands in Poshbot.